the holder of age. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or asylum you can get yourself into. That's how they all start out, right? At least, most of the ones I've seen. And believe me, it's quite a lot. More than most should ever see. But, as it happens, I have been around the block a few times. I, the holder of age, have seen many a thing that would make even him wince. Who? Him? Yeah. I know him. Good friends, we were. Fact is, I'm old enough to be his father, but don't tell him I said that. We even tried our hand at a few of the items ourselves, disguising ourselves as humans. However, it didn't quite work out the way we had hoped. He escaped, rather unscathed. But as for me, well, I might as well start off at the beginning, where it all began. Well, all right, not that far back, but at least at the part where we met them. It was foolish, even for him, to try it. He had to do it, though. And... Being the good friend that I am, I decided to accompany him on his trip. I saw him enter the institution, almost laughing. He came back out, almost hardened in a sort of way. I asked him about what he did in there, and why he dragged me along with him. He only looked at me held up a pin covered in things I can't even begin to describe, and said, I got one. We began to walk, and he told me what happened. I listened, almost sick at a few parts, and actually getting sick at the point of the head talking. Being squeamish isn't really a good thing to be for a holder, now is it? But I couldn't help it then. When he finished, I asked him, Well, what do you think about all of it? He only mumbled something about getting the others. And how could I stop him? I mean, once he's got his mind wrapped up in something, it's tough to make him forget about it. But there was one thing I couldn't understand. It was him we were talking about. Couldn't he just make the things he was after? I asked him. He looked at me with a hint of sadness in his eyes and began telling me a long speech. It in itself took years for him to complete, so I might as well condense it for you. In his almighty words... There are some things that even I cannot create. These objects from the void are nothing short of pure darkness. Here even before me, even before you, dear friend, I cannot create from the darkness, such as those that come from the darkness. Not even the darkness from the void itself. All that comes from there are out of my control, and that is why I must gain them, to keep them from coming together. You have not seen the horrors that I have, and you have not seen the things in the void that not even I would create, would not even think of creating. You have not heard the sounds I have heard, the screams I have heard. The pleas I had to ignore. The pain I had to cause. No idea, old friend, and be glad about it. No one besides me should ever even know of such atrocities being in existence. 
and I have to gain them for this reason as well. But there is one more reason to my need to gain them. An unsufferable yearn to be together bleeds from the objects, an unsoluble bond tying them together. And there is one thing that I have learned in my short travel into that establishment. It is that the only way to destroy them is to bring them together in the place of their birth, in the void. I was stunned, absolutely stunned. I never heard him talk like this before. And because I am only immortal, not timeless, I knew that I could never understand the feelings he must be feeling. The only way to gain them is to spend what is left of our eternity in finding them. However long the eternity may be, is only timed by how quickly he gains them. I know, I know. You may not think of him being a seeker of these accursed things in his time, but I can assure you that every word I speak is the solid truth. There is no doubt that there would be no end to the search for him, but maybe there could be a slight delay in his plans. After all, I am for the human race, and the risk of the whole thing going up in smoke if his plan fails, well, was too great for me to take sitting down. So I foolishly went after one of the objects myself, a random object, the holder of ages object, to be precise. Big mistake. I think the easiest way to tell you the story of what happened there is to give you the way to get the object. Well, my object now. In only one city, in only one country, there will be only one mental institute or asylum that you can get into to get this object. I would give you the names, but I have been here a while, and I cannot recall the information offhand. However, I have been here a long time, so it will probably be the oldest, still running institute around. Once you go up to the desk, ask the person there if you can release someone that calls themselves the holder of age. You must add that I have been there over my release date. The attendant will look up the information in a black, leather-bound book of substantial size. She will notice her error and bashfully lead you into the asylum. You will happen upon room number 529. Stop here and the attendant will continue on through the asylum. There is no need to call her back, for she will only bring trouble along with her when she returns. Open the cell, if it is unlocked. If not, then you have come to the wrong institute, and have only a few moments to realize that I have tricked you on the first try. Before you can enter, a small baby, not looking more than a year old, will crawl out. Catch me before I can escape into the halls of the asylum, for you do not wish to lose me after all that you have been through so far. Bring it back into the cell, and close the door. I will cry, and I will scream. I will curse and it will threaten you to release me. I will cause physical harm as well as emotional and mental. There is only one thing to sate the rage I have. Ask me, how long must they be together for it to happen? I will stop abruptly, sit down and tell you of a story of the first time that they have been brought together. 
how in a matter of sickening moments all was obliterated in the most horrendous manner ever conceived, and how in that moment they were separated again, longing to be together once again. I will then offer you a choice. Replace me as the holder of age, and avoid what happens when they come together, or to leave now, and never get the object you seek. Do not fall for my trick, and instead kill me. I will instantly turn into a fine sand, which you must collect somehow, and escape the asylum with. This sand is object 529 of 538. As the sand runs, so too does your age. Make sure it doesn't run out any time soon. Well, I guess you can imagine what I chose. I became the holder to try and stop him from getting the objects. And I don't know why I didn't just kill him and keep the sand to myself. But I have made my choice. And here I am now. The infant in the cell, waiting to escape. I have told you all I know. Now you must do what I could not, and keep him from getting them. Quickly now, time's a-wasting. <laughs>